Hello and welcome to another MATLAB tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll talk about functions and how to define a function. Essentially, a function works uh, like a script, but it has the advantage that it won't mess with your workspace. So whatever is in your workspace will be kept that way and the function will have its own workspace. Okay? So to create a function, you can come here to new. You can either create a script and then write a function or you can open the function tab. So when you open the function tab, this is what appears. MATLAB will give you a, def a default example of a, a function syntax like this. However, I won't do it this way. I'll come here and just get a new script and I'll type function. And now let's, for example, cr create a function uh, called, well, func. And it will take the radius of a circle as an input and output its area. So as an argument, it will take r, the radius, and it will output an area that I call a. This is a very simple uh, function to program. You'll just have to apply the form for the area of a circle, which is a equals 2 pi times r squared. And you can put the semicolon to suppress the function's uh, output on the common window. So I'll save that function. And it will have the name func dot m it will you'll have to leave it the name as you you've given here and you can press save now in my directory i'll have a function called func dot m if i want to use this function let's say for example i want to compute a circle that has radius equal to 2.5 so i'll define r as 2.5 and i'll just type func sorry a equals func of r and it will output the circle's area in the variable a. I could have done the same by just using func and the value 2.5 as an input and I could even suppress its output and it will store it in the default variable that is end. Now let's change a bit this function and make this function calculate not only the area but also the perimeter of a circle. So in this case I'll need to add one output like so. Now P will represent the perimeter of the circle and to compute P I'll just have to add another line in which I say that P is equal to 2 times R times Pi. And in this case, if I save the function again, it will give me those two outputs. However, if I only call the function with one output specified, or with no outputs, it will only give me the first output, like this. So if I want to get the perimeter, I'll have to specify the two outputs, like so. So A, P and then I can use it. So it now has given me the value that I had for A and now I, it outputs also the value for P. Notice that in this case I would always have to get the value for A to get P but it may happen that I don't want the value for A for anything. So to get the value for P I can put the tilde in the first output and it will just give me the value for p. Now, to show you that the function has its own workspace, I'll just type here, for example, instead of using computing these values as simply as this, I'll say that r2 is equal to r squared, oh, sorry, and I'll substitute this r squared to r2. Now if I save the function and call it again by only using its first output, you'll see that it will compute the value again. However, I will have no variable named r2 
in my workspace. So it kept it on its own workspace. Now say I want to, instead of calculating the area and perimeter of a circle, I want to calculate the area and perimeter of a rectangle that has length is A and B. So in this case, I'll need to modify my function to have two inputs that will be A and B. And I'll have to change its content, of course, and put the correct formula. So A times B for the area and the perimeter to A plus 2b. Oh, forgot the equal sign, sorry. Now I'll just hit save the function again and I'll try to compute it. So let's say I want two outputs of the function, so a and b equal to func of, let's calculate the area of a rectangle that has uh, a equal to 1 and b equal to 5. So those will be my inputs. Now it will give me the area of 5 units squared and the perimeter of 12 units. Now let's say by mistake I call the function with only one output as I have here. So if I try to do that it will tell me that indeed I do not have input, enough input arguments. So I pretty much talked about everything. I wanted to talk about the basics of functions in MATLAB. I hope this video helped you and thank you very much for watching. Please consider leaving a like and I'll see you hopefully in another tutorial.